Yo, come check out the Who's the greatest girl? You can find us out there Like and subscribe to the Tell your people about the Much love from the Oh, welcome back to the Slim Chances Podcast. Yeah, I'll put that shit somewhere in the beginning or whatever the fuck. Pa-pow! All right, one more. Yeah, so I had a buddy who had a theory about, like, uh, why animals lick people, right? And so the theory here is that they're actually just waiting for you to die so that they can eat you. But what they don't know is that they're going to die first. <laughs> in some cases. I mean, in most cases. There's been too many cases where animals will eat their people after they die and they live alone. And so they stay there just a little too long. <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, and that's why they lick you. is because they're just trying to get a taste before they know they can eat you. It's less prominent <laughs> now because people have cell phones, so you go... At what age are we responsible for our own lives? Like, when do you look up and go like, all right, the decisions of your parents no longer affect who, how, and what you are now? I mean, I was like 17, probably. You're such a when bigger I figured person than a lot of us, boss. Yeah, that's when I like became more independent. I've been independent for a long time, but that doesn't mean I've, I I still haven't forgiven that shit. I'm not. Po- this isn't about me. That's more. Oh, I I got you. Yeah, yeah. I forgave that shit before I was even independent. Damn, son. God damn. Yeah, I was probably like 15 when I really accepted. You know. How'd you do that? Life as it is. I spent the years of probably eight to. 12, just really sad. And then I spent the years like 12 through 14 really mad. And then, I don't know, 15, 16 rolled around. I was just like, man, this all feels really bad, and I'm tired of feeling bad about it, so I'm going to stop. And that's how I did that. That seems way too simple, but... what do I you... mean, yeah, you know. What I just you, feel like I learned that forgiveness was important. What if you got over being mad and sad, but you're still just kind of like, fuck you? Like, I'm yeah, not... but are you ever over mad or sad if you're still like, fuck you? That's yeah, because you're out. That sounds a little mad. No, because you're out. Like, you're no longer here. I don't plan on, I don't invite you to the, the cookout because I don't, because I would be mad or sad. Yeah, see? Yeah, exactly. But you're not around, <laughs> so I don't have to feel that. So it's out. That's I mean, I'm, that's okay. It's a different way of dealing with it. It's still a solution. True. Yep. That's all. I just felt like forgiveness was the best way, ultimately speaking. So. Yeah, but did you feel like you had a connection with your parents that was worth forgiving? Um, no, you again, I, for, I forgave everybody for me because no, it no, wasn't no. worth my heartache and my turmoil. But hear me out, right? Did yep. you did you feel like there was there was was there nothing there and you forgave and then you built something or there was something there and you forgave and you built off of that with my mom Definitely I mean mom. absolutely there was something yeah. there right yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah my dad I mean I would say we pretty much built after that fair fair point because yeah there were there were a number of years where i just literally wouldn't even talk to him uh, yeah i hear that yeah my grandma made me quote unquote forgive that because she didn't like it you know no. so she she was like if you don't you have to talk, talk to your to father me, i'm not talking to you <laughs> not exactly like that but like kind of like that that's what i heard at the time anyway you know <laughs> like it was a whole event yeah. <laughs> fair enough hi honey 
Did you forgive your parents? Or did you cut them off and tell them they got to go away forever? See, I think, I don't know if I, I wish I could find, fig, like, figure that out and find that for myself in other occasions. I don't know if it particularly, it, it could apply to my father a little bit. But outside of that, like, there are even just situations where I wish I had a little bit more forgiveness in me that I just don't have, you know? I mean, it's a hard, you know, it's hard to forgive in general. It really can be, for sure. Especially when you feel you've been wronged pretty significantly in life, you know. It, uh, it's a hard thing to overcome. All right, sorry, I came back to life. <laughs> nah, you, well, yeah, you can get your shit together. I don't know. Is your shit out of together? So, if it do, the shoe fits, wear that motherfucker, you know what I mean? It wasn't even... Oh, I step in shit all the time. You're one of my day twos, not my day ones. Uh, step in shit all the time. Do you see that? Well, that goes for one out of the you're two of a, us. You're not a Facebook person. Shit. Never mind. Mm, sorry. Yep. Nope. Not me. Oh, the thing that I sent you that you couldn't see was this, like, fucking, like, machine that went on this guy's hand and it, like, made his finger, like, b move at a billion times a second. And that's why I was like, when you can't get the job done yourself or whatever. It, but anyways, it would have been a lot funnier if you would have seen the video because, like... It was fucking. Uh, anyways, yeah. yeah. Brand dip and dots are not great. Oh well. Are they uh, off brand? Is that what me. you said? Off brand dip and yeah, yeah, yeah. I could tell by the packaging. Yeah, you can only get dip and dots in, in uh, what's it called? I know that's, that's not true. I know it's not true. I know. I was just. No, right, just make sure. Yeah, you can absolutely yeah. order dip and dots for your own breather, but you got to buy them bulk. What was I thinking though? What's the place called? God damn it! Where I had them the first time. Dippin' Dots, Adventure Islands. No, Bush Gardens. Bush Gardens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Sea World. World of Seas. Tampa. If the podcast blew up, but only for Ryan, and Ryan became like a new sex symbol. Oh, like, right on. No, we're not cool. Immediately, she shook her head. We're not cool with yeah, it. She's like, that just ain't true. Can we exploit it? Or you shut it down right away because hundreds of thousands of women are like, ah, like all shot. Like, are you not? Is it out? Do we shut it down? Can I be Ken? <laughs> I would ask Ryan, but I already know Ryan. Yeah, Ryan, look at her. Look at her already. She's like, bro, you ain't Ryan Gosling. Keith. I already know Ryan will go for it. <laughs> if if your if your wife became the sex symbol of the podcast, you're good with it. Like a hundred hundreds of thousands of of men chomping at the bit at your wife, commenting like, bro, Damn. tell me what weird outfits I'm putting her in. See, I already knew. And then, see, this is then this is why I didn't ask because he's not fun because he's so like. I already knew that he would just exploit it. Karina, we're going for it or we're shutting it. We need to shut it down if he becomes the. Can we not like push it off till after I have this baby and I don't feel like a beluga whale? Oh, you the sex. No, see, this is the crazy thing is some men love a pregnant bitch. You know what I mean? Him being the sex symbol. Him. Yeah, she's like, just love this conversation. Wait, and why? Wait, why is that? Because you feel like when you're not a quote unquote your words beluga whale you could keep him but right now you feel like he might he might go for the uh wow we'll we'll revisit it i'm actually i'll put a i'll put a little uh asterisk next to this is this, this, this question needs to you know this question needs to be had later okay fair enough oh dude i'm not yeah i didn't say that shit don't ever say that i said it either <laughs> no that was your words your words we watched, we, we watched Jackass 3, and then all of a sudden we're watching a scene, and there was something in the corner of the screen, and we really didn't know what it was, and come to find out it was a dick pissing on these guys, and Sean was I'm like, exactly what exactly like the Jackass 3. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I really, there was a lot of things I could have yeah. been on this one. I forgot. It's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Like, Dad, a, I've never seen so many dicks in my life. a couple of dicks. 
pissing in, yeah. this, in this one. Several grown men naked. Uh, <laughs> if a girl Not calls, yeah. if a girl calls and says, "Hey, we need to talk. I'm pregnant." Okay, and I think it's yours. We need to do a paternity test, and you go, "All right, right. Let's w- let's get that together." And then the next time you call, she won't answer the phone. And you try for about a week to like get a hold, and she's just not answering the phone. Do you wipe your hands clean of the situation, or do you show up at that bitch's job and be like, "Yo, what's going on here, Karina?" <laughs> well, this is a really weird topic for me to answer. Um... And I agree, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I show up at that bitch's job for sure. Oh, wow. Complete different response right than you, my yeah, friend. Yeah. 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 Wow. No, nope, you're one of five men. Every at man, least. every man, <laughs> every man that I've asked has said, no, I'm cutting <laughs> clean. I'm out. That is crazy. Yeah, your husband included. <clears throat> <laughs> yep. But um yeah, she called somebody else. She got an answer. And that's you know what, what she didn't need to call man, you back. That's what every man that I talked to said. No, she got the answer she needed from another person and you were not it. <laughs> 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 ah man, crazy. She said, nah, you show up. Crazy like too. Swear to God, you threatened to kill the waiter. Oh wow. Did At the job? The saying uh yeah yeah you know he just he says the wrong thing he won't tell you where she's at you just Boom. murder him right there yep Boom. just asleep now the long she, sleep what if she quit her job and moved wow you track her down you sniff her out sean <laughs> sniff what <laughs> jeez I'm hitting the FBI immediately you're hitting up the fbi yep. No, a PI, a private investigator. Oh, my bad, my bad. Fucking Jesus, I swear to God, it's the best thing there ever was. Is it okay <laughs> for relationships to be one-sided? And for how long? Ooh. Like, let's say it's one of your people, like, really strong. And let's say it hasn't always been one-sided, but it it continues to be one-sided for X amount of time. Like, Is it a season? Like, it's just, like, they're going through something and it's one-sided right now? Or, like, they were going through something and it was like that and you were okay with it for a while and it just never stopped being that once that shit was over? What if you, uh, what if you don't, like, what if you're not really sure? Like, let's say maybe, maybe, because some things, it's difficult to tell because, you could mistake things for being effort, right? So like, yeah, you might have called me to invite me over to the cookout a few times, and that's fine. But then you start recognizing like, but when I called you for a certain favor, you might not have been there. And then I called you for another favor and you weren't there. And then you called me for a favor and I was there. And then I called you for a favor and I paid you. And then, you know what I mean? And then it, you just start recognizing a pattern of going like, this just, the effort really only seems to be on one side. It doesn't particularly only have to be monetarily, but even like a lot of things just happen to only feel one way. And when it is the other way, it's very minimal effort that's necessary, monetary value that's necessary, whatever it may be. So what's more convenient as compared to... What does a good friend do? Correct. Yeah, right on. Yeah, so now that we've deci- defined one-sided, I mean, like, I don't know. It's a hard question, right? I mean, like, uh, I think some of it comes down to how long you've been friends with this person, right? Like, in general. And, like, I don't know, I guess even then you hit a point, right? And I guess that's what you're getting at, right? Like, what do you do when you hit that point? <clears throat> Man, I don't know. That's a tough call. All right, so my perspective is <laughs> is that when 
when it comes down to it, I think it, it matters who you are as a person. I think the more passive you are, the more you're willing to put up with. Um, and I think it's also one of those things, you have different friendships with different people. There's people that you know that you can always count on, and then there's people that you know can count on you. But what if you're shifting, really what if you're trying to shift your life because you can't, you feel like you can't no longer pour into others and you need to start pouring into yourself? Then I touch on what I said last week. You don't know anybody. Oh, anybody. wow. I put a poll up yeah. and we'll see <laughs> how the people feel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Like, you don't yeah. Know Yo, go hit the poll. Yo, ever, all you know? six of you. Um, <laughs> I'm one of them. Oh, I'll wow. make a second page for you. Like me. every time. Hell yeah. <laughs> Ryan, <clears throat> you're one of the people I'm talking about. This one sided shit, bro. <laughs> Fucking not looking yeah, at the videos. God damn. Fuck. Yo, he might invite me to every cookout, but won't watch one YouTube video. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you're not the That's person it. I'm talking about, though. Like, you don't have to watch it. Just fucking put it on and sit there, you uh, fuck. No, nah, I need uh, you. I just called I need, myself a fuck. I need you to know you're not one of the people. I just wanted to make that clear quick. <laughs> you're my bad, boss. <laughs> All good, all good. Um, um, is it okay to support Russia again? No. Oh, fuck. Okay. Why would we ever support Russia again? They outlawed GMOs. I mean, there was like a moment too, right? Where like, I was like, ah, oh, Russia might be okay. Genetically modified. That moment was so quickly ruined. Food. They got rid of it. They said, nah, we're not dealing with that. And and there was a pretty... I, I'm, look, I'm not a smart person. Russia did? Yeah, 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 for sure. Nah, you're hilarious. Russia can't import it or afford it. <laughs> well, did they get rid of? GMOs. It's a uh, genetic... We, did you know that we just g- genetically modify food to make it like more fruitful and, and like who knows what it's doing? Yeah. <laughs> who knows what it's doing? Isn't that crazy? The fruit. So let me ask you yeah. this though: Do you think that? Well, hold on. Is... When you say genetically modify, right? I mean, they say genetically modify when they simply crossbreed oranges Did so they know... get a superior breed of orange. Exactly. Did you know broccoli is not a real okay. thing, and we just made it? I mean, same thing with chickens. Like, hear hear me out, Karina. When <laughs> when <laughs> yeah, look at you. Her you saw her mind blow up inside. <laughs> that was crazy. Yo. Did you know that when there was cavemen, there was no such thing as broccoli? I'm so sad for the cavemen that did not have broccoli. Their lives would have been better. They would have lived so much. Is it weird that ever <laughs> since I found out that broccoli w- w- like wasn't a thing and now is, I don't want to eat it anymore and I love broccoli, but like I don't it like I don't want it. Oh, like, I couldn't give a fuck less. I'm going to eat it. It I'm, scares me. Every time hey, I you can put, tell me you're not gonna eat chicken now too. Hold on, I chickens are a man-made creature. I don't think that's true. Google it, Go, honey. You're the Googler. I don't think that. She's on it. Who? Yeah. Ma- where? What do you mean? They bred it. They bred chicken. What? Yep. From what though? Do you know? Oh. Nope. The Googler's on it. Yeah, okay, fair enough. The Googler. Sorry, Karina, but we'll, we'll bump up your pay for being the person that does all the work. <laughs> whenever How we, do we get the first chicken? Whenever we get paid. <laughs> Just so you know, because we haven't, yeah. but that hasn't happened yet. But when we make a dime, you'll get five cents, and we'll take two and a half. <laughs> okay? Each. <laughs> So, I'll just give you my two and a half too. Hell yeah, you have know mine too. God damn, <laughs> it's got us both. <laughs> that's fake, right? That's false ass shit. I knew that shit. Yeah, that's bullshit. Now well, look up, look up broccoli. I don't it. It, as if broccoli's man made. Sorry, uh, Google. Um, um, go ahead. Chickens were domesticated from the wild red jungle fowl. Thank you. Ryan didn't like your answer, so he's like, I'm the Googler all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm Googling. Googly, moogly, fuck you. Fuck right. you. Broccoli. Um, no, that is the first thing that comes up when I search Is broccoli, broccoli yeah. fake? Hell yeah. Because it is. Hell that yeah. That shit's fake. Uh, the red jungle fowl does look exactly like you would expect a rooster to look. Fuck you, Ryan. 
but in like the most, me. in the most, in the most, like, yeah, yeah, that's how I that was great. <laughs> but, uh, but, I some mixed stuff here. Oh, please tell me that broccoli is real again so I can eat it because I really like it. <laughs> but, but, uh, <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, We're going to go on Cornell University. Yeah, but who the fuck wrote Cornell? Okay. You, you believe this shit? Yo, yo. Cornell is a college, Sean. Yeah, but they put, you know, that college are just special interest groups that get paid money to believe what they're told. Come on. Who's Oxford? I mean, Australia definitely tells me that you will not find broccoli in the wild. Hell yeah. <laughs> in the wild. Oh, there's not like broccoli trees? Does broccoli, I mean, you know. <laughs> wait, wait, does broccoli grow on trees? <laughs> Yo. It is a broccoli tree, right? That's what it's called? I don't know. Okay, so relationships can be uneven sometimes if we accept it pretty much. That was the answer. I mean, oh, and we they don't, can be sure, and, and Russia's not real, and we don't support Russia still. No, absolutely not. But how I do you expand, go ahead? I want to expand on the relationships being one sided thing. So I saw this video today, and it really made me think of something that, like, she's divorcing I, you. This is crazy. No, <laughs> no, 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 because no. it makes me think of a lot of people that I know, like personally, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, like my husband <laughs> I think that there's been seasons where in, in my own relationship and I think that a lot of people but aren't seasons I, I, like quarterly not yearly like or multi-yearly wait what if we're talking five moments, years moments and periods all right so listen so let me let me get down to it so in that in the regard of like relationships being one-sided and, and okay. uh, so I think that I think it's such a such a prevalent thing for a lot of people and it really mostly falls on women but I can imagine that there's men out there too that it happens to in, in the role of like stay at home parent and even not just stay at home parent but it's I don't know typically I feel like it's one person in the relationship that does the vast majority of the household <laughs> and um, children regarding responsibilities so I wonder who's just talking video, about. <laughs> this video was talking about. Uh, she's divorcing me. No, listen, just, just listen to me. Yo. So she was saying, um, it was like, it was something about like being like a a married single parent, and oh, I was fuck, like, the yo. fuck is this whole talking about, right? I was like, what is she even talking about? But she starts talking about it, and it makes it makes a lot of sense because like. In a relationship, especially having, I've been a stay-at-home mom, and I know a lot of women that have been stay-at-home moms, and it's usually the always the same thing of, like, the husband goes to work, and he makes the money, so you do everything. Like, your job is everything. But it's like, he gets to clock out and come home. When does she clock out? When do you clock out? You have a job, and you work, and you take care of the kids, and and you clean the house and you do you do all those Shit. things. Yo. When do you get off? You don't. You don't clock out. You never He's get like, to clock out. You when I never make clock you. out. <laughs> never mind. Absolutely. So, but then it's like, but then in a lot of relationships, and I mean, don't get me wrong, because we've had it, and and I mean, you can lie and say that we haven't, Ryan, but like, I don't think you're gonna lie because I think that you, you know it's true too. Like, there's been moments where it's been that like. No, this is your job. Do your job, you know. Absolutely. But it's also it's that 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 thing of like, mm, but like, hey, I've been doing my job all day, just like you've been doing your job all how, day. How often? Minutes, you know? A little bit of pushback. How often do you think that the man feels like every bit of weight is on his shoulders to handle all of the responsibilities that you don't see that they're handling? Now, in your case, in your case, in your case, look, I'm, listen, let's not get into this because I'm like on your side. side. <laughs> but no, genuinely asking, like, what would those be of the things that 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 women can't see? It's, it's or, or it's, men in the whoever. It's, diff it's difficult the because I do all of it, so I I 
I understand Do you know what it's the like other to not side. clock out, you know? But I will say just the weight of getting the like getting the paycheck and handling the financial burden that is taking care of a family it's it to me because i've had to do i have to do both is right. so much harder than the doing dishes and washing clothes and cleaning the house and the parenting aspect now i only have I one i only have one child i'm just talking about for myself now in my case unlike your husband now he also has to work longer hours so that's even worse in my opinion um right. than i do in my case i literally have to work for my paycheck so part of the financial and what i mean by that is i i, I have to do a service to to bill an hour let's say oh um, lab laborious laborious a laborious, laborious service, no less. You did not just say laborious. La <laughs> Maybe I did. That was a good fucking word, though, if it wasn't real. Um, was um, it, for me, that mental struggle of having to handle that and think about that and know that I have to do that for the rest of my life and or we will not, this, this ship will not stay afloat is 10 times more taxing on myself than the other part. Now I don't know you have multiple children. Um you have you have the ability to look at another person and look at that person and go, "Hey, what are you doing?" And I don't have that. So I don't know I don't know how I would feel if I got to come home and look at the other person and weigh out who was doing what and why and how and so i do understand as somebody actually i have a little bit of that where i can kind of i try not to but i i can look and go what are you doing in in comparison to what i am doing to benefit at least our child in 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 certain cases um so just to reiterate, I'm not saying this like solely based on like, oh, I was thinking about it and I was like, fuck Ryan all the way to the max. Because I'm, I'm no, saying, again, like, I, I agree with you. That, you know, say <laughs> no, 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 no. Backtrack. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. Ever since I started coming by your guys's house, I've been trying to push him into understanding the other side of things. But uh... I mean, just as a whole, I think that. I've said so many times, and I think I've said it more recently because I feel like it's something like both of you need to hear. I don't think it's something that you oh, guys fuck. hear enough. But like, how? Well, no, we it, don't hear enough. Oh <laughs> shit! No, this is—I I thought this was about to go down, so boy. <laughs> no, because I feel like it's something that you guys both need to hear more of. Like, you guys are just such a different breed of people that are just so. <laughs> oh shit! This is not where I thought it was about to go. <laughs> no, I'm being genuine. No, we're about like, to get I'm, our I'm flowers, saying, boy. Shut up, Ryan. <laughs> just throw in the roses. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> no, but like, you guys are just such different. Uh, there's just a level of drive and like determination that most people don't have. And I think that it's something that really sets you two apart. But also, in that same regard, I think it's something for people like Ryan, like he said last week, like, he's very critical of people right and that's not just in a relationship sense either like yes I go back and check out the last episode out. episode 59 go back and check out the last episode absolutely you know hilarious Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> no but uh <laughs> shameless self promo um <laughs> no in a genuine sense like it i think it allows you to be more critical of people whenever For you're sure. that determined Yes. But then at the same time, <laughs> I think that I think I'm I will flat out say I'm not nearly that driven of a person. Like my my mental limit caps the fuck out way quicker. Way quicker than I'm sure either one of you like you guys would keep going and keep going. I'm like five minutes in, I'm done. 
I know exactly Ryan, why Ryan is the way that he is because I feel very similarly. I have no empathy or sympathy for people that don't have the same drive that I do. But I exactly. see it's so funny because like I'm critical personally, but I'm usually not openly critical. Completely. Unless different. I like You're, I have a very Ryan, personal need, relationship Ryan, with you. Ryan, you need to do a little bit of self introspection here, boss. <laughs> I think the second or third time you said that I was gaining weight and I'm not your your significant other. <laughs> Unless I have a personal relationship no, with I you. Need, no, 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 no. This, but this is this is where it matters: is personal relationships, boss. Come on. Oh, these are these are the people that give a fuck. If you went up to John on the street and said you're getting fat, he might just smack you in the face. Okay. <laughs> now you're lucky it. that I've known you for long enough that I thought <laughs> twice about doing that, right? And I was like, maybe I am gaining weight, so I quit eating for four weeks, right? But, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I'm just saying, oh, wow. don't. Yeah. <laughs> no, I so, agree. Well, so that's the thing too. I'm on like, her Ryan's side. Look, I've been on my own diet too. You know what I mean? I was just about to say, Ryan's <laughs> doing this crazy diet, and I like. I'm watching him and it's stressing me out. Cause like I'm trying to, oh, what can I make for dinner tonight? And then like I'll think of something. I'm like, I can't fucking do that because like you know it won't really matter. Uh, you can make what you want. want. We've talked about that already. Whatever. Oh. No. Um. So. But I appreciate you keeping me in mind. Yeah, of course I will. But at the same time, like I was thinking about it today. I'm like, how the fuck? And I guess now is the perfect time to do it because I'm on the podcast and he's not going to be mean to me on the Hell podcast. Oh yeah, everything. boy. Call him out. <laughs> <laughs> Get that shit later. What you mean? This podcast is going to last forever. I will drive right up there. I swear to God. <laughs> Give me an hour. We'll keep this podcast going. I'll fucking... <laughs> <laughs> we'll I'm going to get in my car. Comments. I'm going to shout. Is your wife, is your wife just as mean as you are to her that... The, as no, no, no right she's not passive. Even... yeah she's passive aggressive yeah, karina yeah but <laughs> karina just do some no nah, do some shit like this is the kind of shit that i do because i'm kind of we're very similar vibes right like this is the kind of shit that i would do is like i'll take shit that he needs and like move it right or like i'll take his toothpaste and i'll i'll pump all that shit out in the trash and then he'll be like babe are, didn't we just buy toothpaste it's like yeah it's crazy huh like I'll just do shit that'll make him like question his Sounds own life. Passive aggressive. Yeah. yeah, no, exactly. Welcome to fucking <laughs> fuck with me Tuesdays. That's what we're that's where we're at, right? <laughs> fuck with me Fridays. It's, <laughs> Today's it's, Tuesday. It's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. It's really gonna be fuck myself over Wednesday though, because then I'm gonna have to go buy it. You gotta again. quit. See, no, and this is no. We're going to get him trained, just like he thinks he's training you. I'm training him slowly, Karina. I swear <laughs> to God. I'm going to get him there. Okay. We're getting... We're close. God damn it. I got three more. Texas enacted a law that requires someone who kills a parent in a drunk driving accident to pay child support. Oh, to pay child I totally yes. support that law, Texas. That's pretty, that That's pretty dope, right? Good job, Bucker. Now the, now, the only question I have for this, as, even as I was typing this out, that kind of made me question it. If you killed somebody in a drunk driving accident, are you not going to be in jail? And if you're in jail, how do you make money to pay child support? Oh, well, you, you get a jail job. Yeah, yeah absolutely. They, they make, they make, then, they make 13 hold cents on, a day. Though. Let's pause, though, real quick. Because this is also in Texas. You know what I mean? The fun thing about conservatives, they might make you pay child support. But they'll also make sure you don't go to jail for getting drunk. <laughs> oh, do you think so? No, but this is murder. This is be—it's not just getting drunk. It'd be one thing if it was just a drunk driving. It's a vehicular homicide. You're going to jail for that, boss. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. For at least yeah, three you're years. Totally right. Now, for the rest of your life. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. Do, maybe they take like a percentage of your commissary. Mm. Yeah, but it's only if you got it. Maybe. You know. All right, quick question, quick question. How do you spell Chick-fil-A? And now for a word from our sponsors. Hello, everyone. We have created a cash app. If you would like to show monetary support in our future endeavors and creations, or just support to show that you appreciated the art that we have already created, we would appreciate it. If not, continue to enjoy our content. Thank you. Hello, Slim Chances Podcast family. There is a support button on the Anchor page where you can support us financially. Thank you. 
Hey everybody, this is Double D420. Go ahead and give me a follow on Twitch and join our family. Number one group of supporters there are. Everybody loves everybody. Typically you can find us playing first person shooters, but sometimes we like to take it easy and just chat. If that sounds like anything that you would like, you know, we're always looking to add more members to the family. Major shout out to Slim Chance Podcast, aka the best mod there is. C-I-C... C-I... C-H-I-C-K... Really? Hyphen hyphen okay. A. No K, right? No K. My whole life, I swear to God to you, I mean, up until when Chick-fil-A became a thing, it was C-H-I-C-F-I-L-A. Karina's right. It is Chick-fil-A. But that's wrong. What about those old commercials? Has anybody looked for this those is, old commercials? This is, a Man- this is a Mandela effect. I need you guys to you understand. Know, yeah, I knew you were going to say and that. It, it's blowing my fucking mind because I swear to God to you, it's C-H-I-C. And it's still the bear, the Bearstein Bears. Berenstein. Yeah, not the stain. Oh God, bear. Bear. Yeah. So yeah, Bearstein Bears. It was always Steen, not Stain. Oh no! Now they're burn. Oh. B e r n. Bernstein bears. Oh, that is, yeah, it's, that's what it was, right? Yeah, they're Bernstein bears. Yeah, Looney, absolutely. Looney Tunes. How did you spell it? The uh, Tunes part. T u n e s. N s. How did you spell it, Karina? T o o n s. Exactly, but he's right. It's T u n e s. How? They don't even sing. Thank you. Oh, look, I didn't get television until I was 13, so. Oh, see, you shouldn't even be allowed in this conversation. (laughs) 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 Uh, All right, guys. But I had PBA. Those were the best scene bears were. Oh, wow. Did you know that it's a famous line of. um, That's not in there. Oh, go ahead. Well, no, 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 no. In Star Wars, where he says it. I remember it as Luke, I am your father. That's what everybody would always say, right? But it's Luke, I am the father. Yeah. Life is like a box of chocolates is not what it is. What? What is it? Uh, Forrest Gump, life is like a box of chocolates is not That's the what phrase. It is. it is not. I what don't is it? I don't know. We would have to look it up. Well, but it is not that. Ryan, you're not the Googler. Stop okay. it. I am now. Danny Masterson got 30 years, right? I know. Ashton, what? Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis wrote letters of... I know. I saw that shit, too. And then they apologized for and it. And they apologized for it afterwards. Ashton was a big proponent of, like, anti-trafficking, uh, right? Now, the question yeah. is, I pulled... I'm not going to do it because we don't really have, like, a lot of time, but... There was a video that I just rewatched of Ashton and Mila on um, one of the late night shows. I don't remember exactly which one it was. And they, and they were talking about how Ashton was 19 and Mila was 14 when they were recording that 70s show. And they, they told them like, hey, you guys are going to be kissing and making out a lot or kissing a lot. And Danny Masterson bet Ashton how much ever money and said hey see if you can french her like see if you can make out with her whenever you you guys kiss now the question is first of all that's fucked uh, all of it's a little weird if you're acting is it okay for you to kiss a underage woman when you're overage because you're acting are you both getting paid millions I don't know if that I don't know if that <laughs> I'm, right, I'm just saying no, she was making mean, a lot of money so, um, similar situation <laughs> with the Twilight Saga, actually. Kristen Stewart was like 16 when they started filming. How old was uh, um, Fuck Nut? I think he was like 19 too, or 20s or something 16 like that. 16 and 19 is a closer gap. I'm not saying it's okay, but there is the right. Romeo and Juliet law thing that sometimes takes effect in certain states. I don't know where, but... Although I guess that's love more rather than like paid prostitution almost with mouth kissing. Yeah, that's weird. I don't like it. It's yeah, gross. It's a little funky. It yeah, is I'm, a little. I'm not a fan. 
feels a little pervy. Damn, though, that's kind of... Wait, but, like, I don't know, because then there's stuff with, like, uh, the Church of Scientology. Yes, yeah, 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 a bunch of cover-ups and, yeah, yeah, weirdness. Yeah, within sure. the realm of, like, all that Danny Masterson stuff, too, because, like, he was a member of the Church of Scientology, and so were all of the women yes. that accused him, but now none of them are members. No, it was like a well, cover up almost or something. I wonder if Tom Cruise has anything to do with it. Tom Cruise is they the paid. Yeah. They paid them. Like some of them signed NDAs and he paid them off. Is it okay to sign an NDA and take a payment for something and then come back later and go, Nope, that wasn't cool? Are you allowed I mean you already have the money, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Whoa, <laughs> wow. All right, all right, one right. more, one more. Um, oh, all right, one more. Do you think we should or could or can be proud of ourselves, or is that for someone else to admire or appoint to us? You can absolutely be proud of yourself. Uh, but it's a sin. It's one of the seven deadly ones. Exactly the like point. Wow, Ryan, look at you, Mister Fucking. Read a book or whatever. But hold on, though. Hold on, right? Because uh, I was reading an article the other day, right? And they're like, the only real sin there ever was is really Eating the just theft. Oh. Yeah. But what if you yeah, stole my heart when I first saw you? Theft. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, what about when you lie? Well, really, you just stole somebody's truth. But what is pr- what did you steal when you're proud? You stole somebody's glory. But yeah, it's but that. but I'm the one that did the thing. It's my glory. I'm just proud of it. You know what I don't believe in? The Bible. Or coming back that. next week on the Some Chances podcast, <laughs> we'll get into religion. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, that's just hilarious. No, yeah, be proud of yourself. <laughs> we're about to do. I'm gonna anime. be a priest. We're about to do that anime shit where it's like, fuck it, we did a whole fight scene, but it's not even over yet. And it's like coming on next week, they might fight one time. He hit him in the face. Anyways, episode thirty-seven. <laughs> Too funny. Yeah, who just cares? It's probably just sin. I mean, fucking we religious fucks or whatever. You see where you started and like, <laughs> and, excuse and my language. Where you are now. Fucking Jesus! I swear to God, it's the greatest thing ever. When you can, when you can notice that there's that there's a an upwards trajectory of your progress, you should be able to admire that yourself. I mean, I think there's a difference between pride and boastful, I suppose. That's being proud of yourself, though. Like, you know, I think the real sin is being boastful, not necessarily being proud. That's the word, though, right? I agree, but I think the Bible defines it wrong. I think the Bible... Is dumb. I've been wanting to read the Bible, yo. But just because... No, no, no. Not for that reason. I thought we were going to keep it up. I've been wanting to read the Bible only because somebody said, like, yo, you you motherfuckers will go out here and read Harry Potter and uh, the Game of Thrones, but the Bible has some crazy shit. It's like God's had a baby with a with a real person and they had a nephilim like there's some lit fucking stories in the bible if you don't give a fuck about the actual meaning behind it like yo go read oh bro it's a it's a good story that's all i want i just want the story i wish there was i I need um i need the live action remake of the bible like i need need, bro that has that one guy in it of the Christ. Passion of the Christ. Yeah, no, there no, it is. No, no, Mel no. Gibson. No, that's sorry. who he is. Nah, let me come back. Let me let me backtrack. Backtrack. I need the I need the the Bible anime. I need the Bible anime to drop. <laughs> yeah. Like if the Bible anime dropped, I'd be all over it. Cause yeah, I bet there is one. Hold on. Where are we at? Like, I'm gonna Google it. Bible, Bible anime. I'm gonna Google. I'm gonna Google. There sure is. 
This really is about to be it. It's called In the Beginning, the Bible Stories. Wow, it really is a thing. Oh my god, that's insane. Oh wow, it's like 1970s Western cartoon though. Wow, okay, but tell me how like adulterous this looks. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Do you see it? <laughs> yeah, it's like 1970s cartoon though. Totally uh, different than an anime. Fuck. Yeah. Sorry. Uh oh. She's eating that apple, you know what I'm saying? That's what them bitches do. Why she got two of them? Yeah, one's for her titties and the other one's for her vagina. Fucking women whores. You're a whore. <laughs> Ooh, no. Passion of the Christ is really good. That is the yeah, I've never seen it. Are you for real? Hold on. I am for Rizzle. Would you? I'm not against anime. As I just... What just happened here? I was literally, I've been on your side the whole night, and then all of a sudden, you just shit all over have... my fucking no! my life. No, she no, just no, called no. us weebs. No, I did Straight not. Up. Listen, I've watched and enjoyed many animes. I'm about just to weeb out of my now. fucking no. eyes right now. I'm about to weeb out of my fucking eyes right now. No. Oh, you pop them in your Ryan, just anime eyes? Ryan, I got a good show for you to watch since... And what's her name over here? I ain't trying to. No. Hey! <laughs> uh, what is it? What? Hold on. You got one? What's good? Goblin Slayer. Have you watched it? Nope. Logan turned me on to it. Now, don't watch it with your kids because there are like two different rape scenes. Not rapes. Like, you don't see anything, but like it's implied and it's probably not. Implied rape? Yeah, yeah. But otherwise, it was very like. Might be shit on fucking sword art, too. What? Oh, definitely. Oh, for sure. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think and I think they could have a couple different rapey things. I think they definitely could have avoided that too. Like I don't think it was necessary. Like I don't They did no, not absolutely need that not. shit. Nope. Yeah, they did not need that. And they yeah. did it anyway. Yeah, maybe. And I was like I'm gonna skip past this. When is it so yep. far? Like, yo. That's how they oh, teach that's... little Japanese You're boys not to be rapey. Look at him. Which one who's that? Lukey. That's Lucas throwing up a peace sign. Isn't he's he getting so, so fucking old, bro. God, oh, damn. I know it's wild, bro. Before I even get over <laughs> one getting old, you pop out another one though, so it's cool. Yeah, we're about to have. It's a good. One. Yeah, yeah. I'll just replace them. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I'm so glad I don't have to I'm have so any because you're having them all. That's wild. <laughs> no got, problem, homie. I've got a <laughs> live vicariously through me. Yeah, I'm excited. I've got my first doctor's appointment. I'm like... using condoms. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, friend. Yeah, sorry for <laughs> <you>. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. That is wild. Yo, I've never I've never had two people at the same time so disappointed. What just happened? That shit was crazy. No, this is a good thing, guys. Are you fucking kidding me? No, that you should have clapped. No, I'm changing my life. Yo, three clip yeah. Well pretty yeah. yeah. A lot of them. <laughs> if I had I, if, I had, ooh, if wow. I had if I had to have condom sex ever again in my life, I think I'd blow my brains out. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> He's got no comments. Oh, I'm about to go comment again. Like, just go fuck the bitch. Yeah, bro. Love dog or, or not, dog. Or what are nothing, you doing? Or nothing but. <laughs> <laughs> nothing but. You get it? <laughs> yeah, but lube. <laughs> Yeah, don't don't be mean to her like that. No, but, <laughs> yeah, otherwise they say it. Oh my B- god. No, A-T-T. yeah, but otherwise B-T. they say it. Yeah, B U T T. Andrew mm. said yesterday. Right? Yeah, okay. Because otherwise they say Al, and that shit turns me <laughs> off. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. No, you got to push through it. Um, Andrew. <laughs> she was like, she was so ready to talk to him. She was like, nope. Wow. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, I wish a bitch would. Oh, Ryan would get decked so quick. Bye. I hate when they I say L. I would never, ever hit him unless he pushed through it 
Oh, God. I, you're not wrong, because that one bitch tried to stick a finger up there, and I almost hit that bitch, too. So I understand. <laughs> yeah, you better watch out. We don't... I thought you'd like it. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I thought you'd like getting smacked, too, you fucking... <laughs> 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 Andrew uh, comes man. home. Yeah, you were just playing some of that. Andrew comes home yesterday. And we're sitting down eating dinner. And he goes, oh, by the way, I have a crush. <laughs> and I was like, what's his name? Oh, fuck. Oh, got him. Yeah. He's like, bro, really? You think I'm gay? Is that what he said? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Want me to answer that or? Yeah. Yeah. That's hilarious. It was really funny. So, what was his name? Uh, Abigail. Oh, that is <laughs> very feminine name, bro. <laughs> I don't know. That's a pretty <laughs> masculine feminine name. Abigail? Uh, yeah. You yep. think Abigail's a masculine name? A masculine feminine name? I don't think so, Ryan. I think there are really feminine names, and then there are masculine feminine names. And Abby? Abigail's Abigail, Abby, Abby? nope, Abigail. No, nah, she Abby. takes Abby for short, bro. Ab. If you uh, said, if you ain't said not Ab... a single person at that dinner table said this Abby. Is the, this is the problem I have with you, bro. This is this is right here. <laughs> we need see. Thank you, Karina. Yeah, hell yeah. No, because this is the shit I'm talking about right here. <laughs> First of all, Abigail didn't name her fucking self. Never okay. once. I'm, I'm Never not once. saying there's anything wrong with but Abigail. This is the type of person that you but are. Abigail you'll show up. Right you'll show up to Abigail. a dinner and straight to the girl's face and be like, "You're not that manly." Like this is the kind of fucking person that you are to somebody that like you're introducing and you're like, "What did you just fucking say to her, bro? What is wrong with you?" I think I've said that to somebody. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. I think you did too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it might have been somebody I was dating. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's so funny. Ooh. Oh, oh god damn. Oh well. Yeah. You help me see my though, flaws. Right? Like but fuck her though, right? But still, like at the time, yeah. that was crazy. Fucking <laughs> 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 oh my god Wait, That's are so we funny. I didn't think twice about it No, nah, I told her to shave her fucking legs though next time <laughs> fucking <laughs> like I'm gonna spit some real shit to you I dropped out and got a GED because I was 16 and had a child you know I didn't drop out just because I'm fucking lazy and I don't want to do the work I dropped out because that I got who, though? To grandma or to uh, grandma. Kamea? Okay. No, to my grandma. I said that shit to my grandma. I was like, I, I dropped out because I had a baby and I got pregnant. I didn't drop out. Now, do you I feel was like hot all day with my mom and my dad? Can I ask you a question? Do you does your did you take that as your Mima being critical of you because you're critical of yourself? And I only ask as somebody that has a degree now and still feels some type of way about myself dropping out. And so if somebody were to bring it up, I would get defensive and it's it's almost literally my own critical feelings towards myself rather than I'm I don't know. I'm 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 I feel some type of way about my grandma, not about me dropping out. That stupid because... motherfucker made you, bro. He fucking inseminate. Oh, is he? Can he hear? Uh, it fucking inseminated. Oh, oh son of a. Oh, never mind. He's so back. Average. He's back. Oh, god damn. Yeah, right. I can fucking hear you. No, um. I know. Yeah. But no, I feel some type of way just because. Gang. <laughs> they all were like. The 16 and pregnant know, gang. For real, though. Really was. It's crazy. Oh, what the fuck? My shit's... Hey, look, I'm just saying, man. I'm going to be really honest with you, right? If my kids are not, like, excelling at school, I'm going to tell them to fucking drop out of 16 if they can pass the fucking test. You're not... Because the rest of that shit's a fucking waste of time. And they can just go to fucking no. college about it. No, it's not. I'll never agree with that. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. But they're not like on track for fucking scholarship after scholarship. I think there are social aspects that I missed That's out on. Exactly what I was gonna say. I think I am 
socially fucked and stunted for the rest of my life. And I'll yeah, but I think you were that way before you dropped out. I don't think I don't so. Think no, me neither. I agree with her. I think there's a there's a whole part of my life that I'll ne- no matter call I could go get a fucking doctorate's degree that I'll never feel completed because I never completed. You know what I mean? I never did those things that I that I should have done that I honestly I could have done, and I just didn't because at the time it was too much. <laughs> Well, it's very easy also, Ryan, for someone with a fucking actual high school diploma that finished high school. What do you mean? My last two years of high school were literally fucking hell. Talk about the most socially uncomfortable times of my whole life. Yeah, I spent most easier. of it in a trap house. It's easier for you to say that as somebody <laughs> that did it, though, because we didn't. You know what I mean? No, I understand, but it's easier for you guys to say that as somebody who didn't, because instead I sat in a classroom literally by myself. For fucking hey. seven periods every two days. What do you Why mean by that? yourself? What do you mean? Like literally lonely as could be. Why? Oh, but that was see, because I lied about you, me not getting a bitch pregnant. But you made your own choices, if boss. That, if that situation, if that situation didn't happen, yeah. See, you're talking. You're, then you would have been in school, and I would have been in school, and exactly. nobody would have had a problem. You're put. You're putting a whole. Yeah, you're putting a whole stipulation in that it d- does not apply to most people, especially her cousin. Like her cousin. Yeah, but a- in that same yeah, respect, it doesn't apply to you guys either. What do you mean? To say that finishing school would have been better for you in your existing situations, it would okay. not have been. Really, in all actuality, Sean, you literally made the most efficient decision you could have ever made. I mean, to drop out and immediately enroll in trade school and then graduate from trade school by the time you were 18. It's right? easy to say that now. It is so easy to say that now, but I but I could I could literally point at so many people over there if they and this is go back to goes the back only to flip side is that I would have told you to go to college instead of trade school. You know, I disagree. Would have been I the make, only difference. I make more money than most people, and me and you are neck and neck, boss. So I agree. I so wholeheartedly where, agree. Where are we at? But I started college later than you would have finished trade school. Had you done college first, you'd be three years ahead of me right now. Uh, I don't know. Depending on where, what, see, then we're back at like, what did I, where? I did, agree. What, what do you want to do? What yeah, did you yeah. choose? Uh, and for sure. Do you think I would have yeah. known what to choose at 16 years? You know what I mean? Like, I got you. Liberal arts degree, and all of a sudden we're sitting yeah, there like fucking you know, painting there are, pictures and There shit. are parts and pieces, but I'm just saying in general, right? I mean, I, if you would have finished your associate's degree at 18, the same time everybody else was graduating high school, right? You would have been two years that. ahead. Never would have done that, though. My, I got you. My unlocking of that ability was seeing somebody that was doing that and going like, oh, that's a possibility. Yeah, which, <laughs> so it's which like, is what I'm saying with my own <laughs> kids, right? Like, if you're not excelling and, like, you're not on a track that's going to make a significant but, difference in your life, I would encourage you but, to drop out, take the test, and go immediately into college. But fortunately enough, Ryan, they have somebody in their life that has the knowledge that can Im- implement that into like them, whereas we did not have that. I agree, right? And that's the goal. But I'm just saying, where you guys are like, oh, it was like this worst decision I could have ever made, right? Definitely in all was. actuality, I personally view it as a pretty positive way to move through life. Right, I'm saying dropping out and like getting the GED, like it it can be a positive impact. You're misunderstanding. It was the best decision I've ever made in my life. The social aspect of it was not. The 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 things that I feel like I missed out on, Ryan. You don't know how. I mean, I partied harder than anybody that that is around us, except for probably yourself, right? But so, what'd you miss out on? You know. (laughs) <laughs> so many aspects that I just that weren't had. I don't know how to explain it to you because it. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. What to say. The end oh, but for me, they wouldn't have been had regardless of whether or not you finished school. But that's just because, based off your life circumstances. That's because no, of the circumstances, me. though. We're talking about I... take ourselves out of it. We're talking about a child that is sixteen. That is has no kids. That has no reason or no aspect. Ah, but if we we talk about Kamea specifically, she's got some pretty unique life circumstances. 
that make her own life chaotic and, and difficult to deal with. I, and and that, and I I would take that and raise a hundred hurdles that I, we had ourselves that were ten times worse and that actually had put, like specific reasons that made the decisions that we made let's say at least that made sense while i may feel some type of way about the decisions i made they do make sense they were viable decisions at that time in her case i would say that they are not um may not find themselves in need of of grandma and she might I don't, I don't, I don't see, I don't know the dynamic. I just know that myself, right? When I feel lonely, if I feel, uh, some type of way, if I need somebody to go out to breakfast with, if I have certain, I'm calling grandma, right? Cohen's going to call his mom or his dad. That's just what's going to happen. When Joey has some sort of fucking situation at school and he wants to include people, he's going to call his mom and his dad, right? I'm going to call yeah. grandma. That's, that's who I'm going to fucking call because that's who's always been there for me. So of course, at the same time, when grandma needs a fence put up, those motherfuckers both showed up at grandma's house while I was doing this shit and didn't help. When I was cleaning over at the neighbor's house and fucking cleaning shit up because grandma kept bitching about it and didn't like looking at an abandoned house with a bunch of shit next door, I did that shit on my own. And they both showed up and saw me doing it and did not help. But both of their parents will sit there and wonder why are they not uh talked about the same way why are they not treated the same way why was sean given the um the property not knowing that when the property is sold i plan on giving them a third of the property but they don't know that they'll bitch and whine about it and cry about it until decisions are made right but they wonder why and it makes no sense to them and yet i look at it and go well neither not neither two of those people show up for anything Half the time, when, right. when a dinner sh when a dinner goes on, they're not there. When uh, a problem arises, when grandma needs to go to the fucking doctor, they're not there. When a fence needs, or put one up, of them cries about a cupcake, they're not there, right? <laughs> and yet, still, somebody in the life and understanding and knowing how unfair that situation is plans on making it right in this in the time that is necessary to be made right. But but it's not for them to understand because in their position, I can understand that too. I can understand why is my kid looked at a different way than the other kid. They're all grandkids, but it's a whole different position. It's a, it's, it's a whole different way of being, you know, I don't know, man, it's difficult. Life is crazy. And that's my, uh, I get, three cents. I had so much like <laughs> I had so much empathy in the beginning for it, you know, I feel like your situation um it might be completely different. Well not completely different. It is very really similar in a sense, you know, obviously just in in the fact of like the child just needing someone constant to be there for them. Like the, the difference which, being though which is, is you're older, you guys so in your case the one that needs quote unquote is the I would say the youngest, right or wrong? Uh, yeah. And so in your case, I can understand a very big difference because you, I mean, I know you grew up with grandma being right down the road. There had to have been a lifelong connection. And then all of a sudden, some person that wasn't even alive when I was going down there and creating a connection is now here. And it's a, I'm the oldest. So there's a, there's a, out of, three of us anyway it's it is a different weird dynamic and i i do understand the the feeling that you have i i I'd actually i do really completely understand the difference um but i i still feel for it because i think in their case they 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 only look at it like um i think it's a measuring act and you go who can who can make it out of this right who who has who doesn't who who needs who doesn't? Who's good enough? Well, the crazy part is like all, all uh, for me that I really want out of out of any of it. Like all that I've ever wanted out of any oh. of it. I'm not asking her to be there for me to drop anything to drive up here or anything. Just to be able to have a conversation on the phone with her, where we talk, we laugh. 
we have a good time, which she calls my mom every day. Have you know, you said that specifically to doesn't... her. Um, not in those words, which maybe I should. But I have expressed to her because the first time that she brought me up, she apologized for doing it, and I was like, "Yeah, like I mean, I I don't, I don't mind." I specifically myself called out my grandmother and said, "Hey, you need to love your other grandkids. You need to quit fucking posting about myself and my child." And I know that we mean more to you and the way that you think, but you need to give a fuck about these people. And from then on, she started doing it. Oh, wow. Uh, the problem is, is, does she mean it or feel it? I don't know. And that's not for me to worry about. But I know that they feel some type of way about it. And she needed to make an adjustment. And it needed to be said from somebody that wasn't my father and my aunt. And she made an adjustment. Oh, Grandma. It's just a I love Grandma so much. I love that she posted Lucas the other day. It was so cute. <laughs> I thought that she was funny. Bro, she's, <laughs> she's living vicariously through these people, boy. Yo, she's out here. <laughs> <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> I, saying, I, I love Grandma. But... That makes one of us. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 us, motherfucker. Nah, Count yourself out. Yeah, I love Grandma to death, but goddamn, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I know yeah, that three out of four of those pictures were my youngest, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I think, the next time, I think the next time I talk to my grandma that I need to be, like, really up front with her and be like, look. Because the other thing is you might be having conversations with your mom, and you just said your mom's passive-aggressive, right? So you might be having conversations with your mom that says, yo, this fucking stupid bitch is annoying me. This is crazy. She's making me feel some type of way. And then your mom goes, hey, you know, maybe you should just talk to Karina more. And then that's it. And then you're like, I thought I made it clear. And then your mom's like, no, I definitely made it clear. But that's all she said. Right? No, I don't know. My mom's, she told me like the conversation that she had with my grandma. When you um, understand that we have, we present what we think we said versus what we actually said in two different ways. Yeah, that's true. Honestly, and then I called him back and you didn't I know and then yeah and then I was like she's not gonna answer and he will this is crazy yo this is crazy well, like, <laughs> like like just hang on Karina so I was like okay she's hanging on she's like yeah. ah wait let me wait <laughs> I'm listening to the, like to the whole music anyways I don't know. Your husband just says shit sometimes. He says he does the same thing to me, bro, and it hurts my feelings. But then I gotta realize he's the retard with the strength, you know. <laughs> Fuck. So. Yeah, yeah. He fucking I don't know. busts his computer. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> ah, bro, you backed up and you had blood coming down your forehead. Uh, we we haven't even. Hold on, look. Before you crack and... that one, we can go if you're ready. I'm not, I'm, dude, I'm fucking, shit, I'm a day and a half ahead at work. I'm fucking, I'm already, like, off for the week, and I've got three more days, like, yeah. Where are you going? West Virginia. West Virginia. uh, Mountain holler. (laughs) Carolina. He was saying, what do you, we can go. Oh, Ryan was saying that. It's because he's like, I don't know. Normally we get off by yeah it's ten thirty by now it's it's ended five times. That's all I'm getting at. Yeah, 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 for sure. I'm Brian, ready for bam. Brian. Go, please. I'm. It's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'm cracking this. I'm drinking this one without you. I don't need you here to crack it. That's yeah. Right on. If you're ready Deal. for bed, let's cut it. Yeah. Yes, I am ready for bed. Much love, my my family. Much love, homie. Hey, hold on, hold on. Let me change that. I love you, Sean. I don't like that. Uh, you know, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> love you too, buddy. To other, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, thanks, man. But I won't do the <laughs> I. It's just the love. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, I get it. Yeah, I talked to my wife about that when we were like fifteen. You know, it's she important. Would, she wouldn't say I. She would just say love you. I don't know. She would just say love you, and I had to correct her that I love you is a way to say it. You know. Yeah.